As soon as I logged into the server, I got that quest on the top right corner called Welcome to the Neighborhood. Listen to the Brotherhood message. So, let's go. Uh, where is, oh. A father's goodbye, no. I'm assuming it's going to have the little diamond on it. That's literally what I'm looking for. I'm not reading anything. I'm just looking for the little diamond since it's, it, it is quest. Uh, it is a quest marker. So, uh, I hope I find it. Wait, hold on. Uh, the Brotherhood's message. Is it called Brotherhood's message or the Brotherhood's message? So now I'm looking. Okay, so I'm assuming it's Brotherhood's message. Let's go all the way up then. Brotherhood's message. Where is it? It's not this one, is it? Hey, Max. No, that's not it. I know I messed up. I never should have. Or is it? Mine in the first place. A few supplies ain't worth all. Is it an actual location? Don't you for one second start thinking. Show on map. I've picked up a. Oh, it's on the radio. Welcome broadcast. Attention people of Appalachia. This is Paladin Romani of the Brotherhood of Steel, broadcasting from Fort Atlas. You are no longer facing the wasteland alone. The Brotherhood has returned. Our mission is to help you lead a better, safer life, free from the dangers left behind in the wake of the Great War. If you wish to join us in our mission, find us at Fort Atlas. Okay. Join us in building the future. Romani out. So we have to go somewhere else, essentially. So, oh, it's just repeating. So let's go ahead and get out of there. Let's go find, she said Fort Atlas, right? That's the observatory. It's, all right. Oh, it has its own quest marker and everything. And it's free. They changed it to be free. That's good. I like that, actually. I like that a lot, as a matter of fact. So let's go ahead and get over to Fort Atlas and start this quest, man. This should be pretty interesting to say the least, man. I'm actually pretty stoked to be in this game right now. All right, let's see. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, is it going to give me an actual... Oh, there we go. Forging Trust. What does it say? Meet the returned brotherhood. Oh, it's this guy again. I remember this guy. Any hey, what's up? To share? Kind of. Hey, good to see you again. Thank you. Welcome to Fort Atlas. <clears throat> um, I'd like to know more about the uh, yeah, I'd like to know more about the brotherhood. Of course. What you want to know? Uh, everything. Uh, well, first things first. What's your impression of the bro of of the brotherhood, and why are they here exactly? I wasn't sure what to expect, really. I built up a picture of them, reading the old logs from Taggarty's group. This bunch, well, they just marched across the continent, and you can sense the strain. But the resolve in them is like nothing I've ever seen. Paladin Romani, their leader, she's really something. Makes you feel like you're part of a brighter future when she talks to you. Paladin Ramad Ramadi? I, I'm I have a feeling I'm gonna have a hard time saying that name um, I'm, I'm terrible with pronunciation when it, especially when it comes to names so <laughs> that sucks all right so what's it like being an initiate by the way oh, it's an honor I know that sounds like some recruiting poster nonsense but really it is I finally feel like I'm part of something meaningful Building a better world alongside other people who've committed their lives to that cause. 
Sure, sometimes it means doing guard shifts in the rain, but hey, small price to pay for real purpose, right? Yeah, I mean, I know exactly what you mean, man. Uh, how many of the Brotherhood are here? Well, aside from the initiates and hopefuls they recruited along the way, just three. I would say <laughs> more, honestly, but Paladin Romani said three was plenty to start a new chapter. With the recruits they have already, she's right. Uh, wait, you know what? This actually makes a lot of sense, lore-wise, and why they probably didn't document in extreme detail how many people came to Appalachia. Uh, seeing as it was only like a small a detachment, if you will, of individuals that came out here, they're going to recruit for the Brotherhood, start small, and then get big here. I understand. I get it. I get it. Uh, so I wanted to... Hold on. Yeah, I wanted to ask you something else. What do you need? Why Fort Atlas? Yep. The Brotherhood renamed it when they turned it into their new headquarters here. Makes sense. I guess the Brotherhood finally showed up then, right? They sure did. Trailing a bunch of recruits and new initiates they'd picked up along the way. Quite the sight to see. No lie. I was really glad I had something to show them when they got here. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, well, who's in charge? Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, a little both. Either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. So where's Knight Shin? Knight Shin, is she in the Brotherhood? Bro Brotherhood hopeful? I don't know what that means. Uh, that doesn't sound very good, to be honest. So there's only three, and yet there's three out here. I see one, two, and then there's one over there performing guard duty way out there. So, actually there's one up there too, so there's four. He lied to me. Well, not really, because I think he just meant the people that came in. Let's, let's enter solo and find out exactly what it's like in here, man. This is actually very exciting. Get that loot. Alright, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn around slowly and bring it a... I mean, what? Who are you? Sean Hockman? I want to talk to him. Oh, that's Paladin Ramadi. Your objections are noted. But this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. Okay, that's acceptable. I want to talk to her. You insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. All right. I want to talk to her. Come here. Paladin Ramadi. No, come back here. Oh, she ran away from me. Like every other woman does. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Uh, Russell Dorsey said... Wait, hold on. Yeah, Russell Dorsey sent me to talk to you. Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance. Not acting as my secretary. Look, you need to calm down. He is exactly where you told him to be. I was the one that spoke to him, and he just basically gave me a little bit of information. So how about you calm your little, you know, kneecap ass down? Um, let me see. What are you guys doing here? The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. We're here under orders from Elder Maxon. Gasp! Stay out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Look. You just, you just need to relax, right? So what what would it mean exactly should I want to join the Brotherhood of Steel? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. 
makes sense. This guy's a very grumpy person, huh? So then, by what you mean, I'm assuming you guys are recruiting new initiates? That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I can think of no greater honor than to join your noble brotherhood. <laughs> if you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it <laughs> immediately. Normally, I might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. Good. There's something you could do for me that would help the order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. And that is? We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid or want something or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners. Find out what they want and report back to me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I can do that. Hold on. No, yeah. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I, I guess. What? Oh, they're downstairs. I was like, where is the map marker? I was like so confused for a second. And I'm already set up, man, because I already have my laser rifle. No, I, I didn't, but I probably will in a second. This is my laser rifle, which I think is pretty good since he's a, la a laser VATS user. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good weapon, I think. And then, of course, this baby. This thing is disgusting. I transferred my uh, weapons from my main character over to this one since I played with this one a lot more. But this is my secondary weapon, to be honest. The, uh, this one's actually really good too, man. And then of course, this is my other weapon. This thing is absolutely disgusting. Dude, yeah, if it's not obvious, my other character, my main character did a lot of grinding. Why? You look like a raider. How are you in the Brotherhood? Talk to me. I'm interested. Yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns. You don't look like one of these Brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lane. What's your deal? Uh, what's my deal? What do you mean, what's my deal? You listen to me, young lady. I'm just kidding. Uh, Night Shin sent me to speak to you, actually. Shin? Yeah, kneecap. Scary guy with a stick up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Now you've got a little bit of uh, uh, favor from me by saying that. Let's see. Uh, so I take it guns uh, uh, is what you're after? Actually, you know what? What's your story? Oh, I'm just a poor country girl, you know? Parents died ages ago, so it's just me and a few friends trying to make our way in the world. It's pretty scary out there. Just a bunch of orphans helping each other out. We're practically just kids. Gotta grow up on our own. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those high-tech guns these Brotherhood have to dude. scare off all the maniacs out there. She is so full of shit, dude. She's a raider, dude. Like, raider. Uh, come on, Tally. Trust me. I'm friends with the crater. I mean, we already know, but I, I want to see what would happen if we went this route anyways. Tally, uh, you're not a raider, are you? What? Me? A raider? No, 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 no. A little old me? Don't be silly. She could have literally at least dressed the part. So I take it guns is what you're after. Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. The 
all the talk in the areas about these brotherhood folks with their high-tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self-defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Oh, okay then. I mean, I can't promise anything, but I'll tell Nice Shin. I should go. Uh, yes. Okay, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well, go get him, Tiger. She is so shady, dude. All right, you, speak. Dr. Blackburn. Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. Well, first things first. Uh, I was actually told by Knight uh, Shin to come and speak to you personally. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes. Dr. No. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Knight Shin want to know? Knight Shin didn't have no power armor, dude. You're on drugs or something, bro. Or maybe you should get those uh, glasses calibrated. <laughs> Let's see here. He asked me to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. I mean... To be fair, they're just starting a brand new chapter, so they would be in quote-unquote disarray to some extent, right? So, I think you're being a little bit over dramatic on the situation. Uh, I'll pass that along. I mean, let me see. I'll mention that in my report. I have some other questions, though. Very well. What did you wish to know? Tell me more about yourself. I am sure you have more interesting things to do than listen to a poorly socialized wasteland doctor talk about. In short, I trained in multiple specialties before the war and had a brief career as a research scientist prior to the bombs dropping. Finding myself fortunate enough to survive, I have continued my research, such as it is. Now I focus on the health of the people of Appalachia. Please do not ask me to examine any strange growths. I am not that kind of doctor. I'm hungry and thirsty, I think. <clears throat> Let me see here. Uh, are you working with Foundation? Their hygiene standards are better than a lot at Crater, but no. I prefer to work in solitude. One day, perhaps, my research will be of benefit to them and all the other people of Appalachia. Well, alright. That's enough yapping about that other stuff. I want to know more about your research. Can you tell me anything about that? It would be difficult to express it in layman's terms. I'm not a layman. No offense intended. In essence, I have been studying the illnesses of Appalachia. For too long, people have relied on folk remedies and makeshift medicines. The long-term effects of this environment are concerning. Just because the radiation is survivable does not mean it is safe. Okay. Good to know. I think, I think that's all I need for now. Thank you Very for the time. Well, Perhaps we can be of assistance to one another. Should our paths cross again? Perhaps. I think you'd be a good fit here. Not her. She's obviously just using us. Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas? Not really. I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. Um. Kind of. Oh, hold on. Let me see. You've been waiting long? Longer than I prefer. These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckon I'd better go see him. Ain't the only one neither, I see. So what is it that you do? Farming, such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than scald. But it's mine. And I manage. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not really with them. Kind of. I'm in the process of joining... But furthermore, uh, Nice Shin himself actually asked me to come and speak to you. Well, it's about time. <clears throat> I'd like to die of old age waiting on him. Name's <laughs> Artnap. So, what's this night fella sent you for? Well, 
isn't your farm in danger? Uh, with you away? Got seed in the ground right now. <laughs> I ain't yet seen a raider willing to scrabble in the soil for seeds. So I reckon it'll get by till I'm back. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I mean, you probably still have to water it, don't you? Well, whatever. Tell me more about yourself, bro. Whoa, he just tell. threw that freaking a thing. Farmer one way or another. All my life. <laughs> Daddy before me and so on. Set up in these parts after I heard it was safe again. Turned out, there's just plenty of raiders fixing to take what ain't nailed down. Ain't much use belly aching about it. But neither am I just gonna roll over and let some bullies take what's mine. So I'm assuming he's looking for protection, perhaps? Uh, well, anyways, I was asked, uh, by Night Shin, of course, to come see what you wanted for the, from the Brotherhood, uh, as an organization. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. For uh -oh. the cause, they said. Yeah. Like that don't make them raiders, too. I was wrong. <clears throat> I ain't got much. I already got to worry about raiders. So... I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra. And I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these <laughs> steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Uh, yeah, seems fair. Actually, I was right. Although the motives behind why he wanted protection was a little different than what I was expecting. But I was, in a sense, right. He did want protection from the Brotherhood. But, uh, yeah, I'll bring them uh, your offer. Uh, take care. Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. You take care, too. I, I think this would be a good trade, man. Maybe put, like, one, you know brotherhood person near his farm or a little substation or something wait who are you hey what's up bro you better have something useful to say to me uh well first of all you can look at me when i'm talking to you rude uh look who are you i don't even know you what did i do to you i just told you who i am i already told him that when i got here nobody's listening in this place i came here so that they can make things right and they won't even listen to me. Right from what? I'm not actually a part of the Brotherhood. Don't take this out on me, bro. What? Oh, <clears throat> hey, hey. Sorry about that. You're right. Ain't, ain't right me blowing up on you like that. Well, I appreciate I'm the apology. Really up, and none of these Brotherhood types are giving me the time of day. They're probably busy, man. Taking, like, hostile or uh, verbal action against people isn't... It's probably not the answer. But anyways, Night Shin actually asked me to come talk to you about whatever situation you needed help with. Oh, <clears throat> can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's he got to say to me? Um, would you tell me more about yourself? I'm a scavenger mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself, scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, I like to be left alone. Yeah, I get it. So tell me what the problem is then. The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood <clears throat> clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Oh, I'm snap. A peaceful man. I really am. Sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. And, like, huge. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah. I'll tell them what you told me, Sean. I promise. 
Uh, for now, I'm just gonna have to leave it at that. But I'll do what I can, all right? I promise. Later. Hey. I just needed someone to listen and take me seriously. I hope you can convince them. Yeah, me too, man. That shit is not right. Look, you listen here, Night Shin. Where the hell are you? Fine. Your people are dicks. <laughs> have you finished the task I gave you? Oh, uh, have you finished the task I gave you? Uh, well, I've uh spoken to the petitioners. I'm ready to report. Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. Uh, so Dr. Blackburn was looking for supplies for his research. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. I mean, that... that... that makes sense. Uh... Let me see. Uh, seem to need you more. I mean, it could be everyone. It could be good for everyone if you help them. Our job is to procure and protect technology, not fund civilian scientists in developing it. If the doctor's research proves dangerous, then the Brotherhood will take a very pointed interest. Until then, it is his problem. Next report. Man, I tried. So Artnap wants to trade a share of his crops for protection from the raiders. He's going to say no to this too because of the manpower situation. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. I mean, it sounded like a fair deal to me. You guys need to eat. He has a farm. For just some lightweight, you know, I don't know. I think it seems like a fair, uh, a fair trade. That's irrelevant. The Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We have our own concerns. Enough about that. What's next? Yeah, I'm failing at all of this. Uh, Sean Hawkman was robbed, uh, robbed by people claiming to be Brotherhood. Impossible. <clears throat> Whatever happened, it was not us. Uh, don't you want to find out who did it? There are countless brigands out there, civilian. It is not the job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. I will say it bothers me to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood this way. But that does not change the facts. Mr. Hawkman's problems are his own, not ours. Uh... Your next report. That sucks. I'm sorry, Sean. So about the most interesting one about of the bunch, uh, Tally, Wong, uh, Tally Lang wants to buy your uh, buy guns from you. No, we are not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think she might be a raider, anyways. All right, actually, yeah, she's a raider, actually. Uh, don't try to ask me how I know. Is she? We would never have given her weapons. This only reinforces that. If you intend to be an initiate, I can't have any doubts about your loyalties. Don't ask will not be an acceptable answer. To <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that covers everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Cool. Um, let me see. So are you really not going to help any of them, though? What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be heard. And your concern in the matter ends here. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's how the chain of command works, right? You bring your concerns to your superior, and they bring it to the more superior person. But, uh, yeah, thanks. I'll go ahead and uh, talk to the next person then. What, what was her name? Scribe Valdez. Thank you, man. Be vigilant, outsider. 
Ad Victorium, sister. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Hand scanner. Ooh. Dude, I'm broke. Find someone named Mags. Uh, Brotherhood Round Table. Ooh. Brotherhood Round Table. Where? Well, it's gonna be under plans. I don't know why I'm taking my sweet time if I have to go all the way down. Bam! Oh, there she is. Mother of Invention? 